pan. I wanted to show you today what I had purchased um, after Christmas. My parents had gifted some money to, to me and um, they said, buy whatever you would like for, for Christmas. So um, I had been looking for a hutch for our kitchen and I found this beautiful piece at a uh, kind of a consignment store, um, antique thrift mall type place. And she had this piece. The price was not too bad and it fits the space just beautifully. It's solid oak other than this back panel here because I think it just would just be so heavy, um, but it's great. It's over six feet tall. It's 65 inches in length. And the depth is about 15 inches. So, so at the top of the hutch, I placed this sign that I had purchased from Michael's, I believe last summer um, or during the springtime. So that statement's pretty true. <laughs> You'll never leave my kitchen hungry. <laughs> uh, so the second shelf down, or the next shelf down, excuse me, I just placed some white pictures that I've had and to be honest with you, most of the stuff I have thrifted. Um, the, these two plates here, this blessed and grateful, uh, I got from Walmart in the beginning of the fall. That little heart jar is from Walmart as well, and they have it again this year. I purchased that last year. This topiary, I believe I got that at um, the Christmas tree shop. And this ginger jar from Hobby Lobby last spring. And then this next shelf down, the set of canisters, uh, Salvation Army, just a couple weeks ago. And for the set, it was $12.99 or $14.99. Um, and I just like that it's, you know, they're white, they have the fruit on them. And this is the brand. And the funny thing is, is I found the set of canisters about two weeks after I had purchased this bread box. And I believe it's a match. And this bread box is pretty significant in size. This food scale I purchased from Hobby Lobby and it was 50% off, and I just purchased that um, just within the past, excuse me, for just the past oh, couple days. So, um, and then over here, I just have a Hobby Lobby Toberry ball in a white pot sitting on top of a cookbook. This is where I need your assistance in trying to style the bottom three shelves. I know I can do like baskets or I don't know, even maybe a decorative pillow. Um, leave in the comments below what you would um, put there to accent this piece of furniture. And you know, I do not know who, who made this. I have looked in the drawers inside and out and it doesn't say you know, who made it, but I mean, look at the features. It's, you know, the drawers are dovetailed and it's just solid wood. It is made really, really well. So at first I thought I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna paint, you know, chalk paint it white to lighten up the kitchen or um, kind of go more for that farmhouse look. But I mean, look at it, it just matches my hardwood floor so well. And then, um, I think just accenting with the white, I just love it. So um, just wanted to introduce you to my new find and I'm so grateful to my parents for the gift of money 
and in the car they were so sweet they're like please spend this money on something just for you and um, when I saw this I was just so thrilled so um, I'm so glad to have it in our home and it just fits so perfectly so thanks for um, staying for this video and if you have any suggestions on how to style it at the bottom I'm open to suggestions and um, please come back in another week or two I will have some more um, accents for Valentine's Day and um, we'll celebrate those who we love in our lives and um, just add a few touches here and there so thank you and appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch.